Rowan here from Matchmaker FM. So if you didn't know, Matchmaker FM actually has an app and we believe it to be the best way to track your conversations on the go. In today's video, we're going to give you a quick overview of the platform and see what you're missing out on if you don't yet have it downloaded. Are you looking for a podcast or radio show to appear on? Are you struggling to find a guest for your podcast or radio show? Let me introduce you to Matchmaker.fm. Simply create a profile, narrow your niche, and use the inbuilt messenger to contact potential partners. And the best part, it's free to sign up. So let's find your match. So the Matchmaker FM app is available on iOS and Android devices for completely free. All you need to do to get started is have an account on either our free or paid for plan. First thing you'll see when going onto the app is the messages tab. When in a chat with someone, obviously you can just chat like normal, or you could send over a booking request when you want to organize some filming. If a conversation isn't going the way you want, you can always click the three dots in the corner to find extra little details uh, where you can report a user, block user, or just archive them if you don't think it's going to work out. Next, let's head over to the guest tabs where you can search through thousands of potential guests. If you're struggling to find someone, then why not hit filter in the corner? Here you can find various categories, languages, a location, uh, and you can even select if you want to do it in person or remotely, or maybe you just want to find someone who doesn't charge a fee. Then simply click search and we'll do the rest for you. We'll find perfect matches just for you. Think you found a good one? Then simply click on their profile and then click send message. The same applies over on the shows tab except now you're obviously gonna see podcasts. One of the great things about show or guest profiles on Matchmaker is that you can see loads of different information about them. So for example, here I can see a nice quote, I can see some ratings to see if uh, other users have had a good experience with them, as well as different categories that might associate well with them, and then just a bit of about themselves. You can also, at the bottom, see some of their recent podcasts, so you can have a listen and see if it's for you. Finally, in the bottom right corner, we have settings, and here you can obviously uh, update your plan, you can check out the Amplify blog for lots of updates and tips and you can either just log out or switch between your profiles. Also you might have noticed that anywhere on the app in the top right corner you can see your profile. If you click show profile then you can see everything that is on your profile and you can update it on the fly. So if I want to hit update uh, I could go here and I could change my description to include that I really like dogs. Don't know why I want to tell people that, but maybe I do. So then I just click done and save. We always recommend to fill out your profile page as much as possible and keep it interesting because this is really how people choose you. Uh, so you really want to stand out. And it's as simple as that. We are constantly updating the app to keep it in line with our desktop version of Matchmaker FM. And in the future, we're planning to add some of the missing features such as favorites, recommendations, and posts. We'll be sure to keep you updated when they release. But for now, if you have any other features you'd like to see, then don't hesitate to mention us in the comments below and let us know. As always though, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click like, hit subscribe, ring the bell, uh, and yeah, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.